Hi, welcome to CIDC Nirman. I'm Jayashree Kuro. I'm editor CIDC Nirman, and I have Deepin and uh, Anjali Kawa with me. Thank you for joining me. Tell me about the uh, technologies that you've brought here. It is called micro tunneling. It is basically used uh, to lay utility pipelines, water, sewerage, drainage, uh, without uh, open cut, and it is highly safe method and uh, very accurate. The line and level of the pipeline can be controlled remotely using computer and the laser guidance system. So it is considered as uh, one of the advanced methods. Uh, India and different states have been rapidly adopting this method. especially in new delhi gujarat maharashtra and we are also slowly and uh, regularly promoting this technology to different states how long have you been uh, working in india uh, it is our company is uh, 30 years old uh, we started operations in 1992 urmi is one of the pioneers in traceless technology in india uh, uh, we started operation in 1992 my father established this company and uh, since then uh, we have been uh, involved in numerous uh, construction projects of national interest and national importance in different parts of india do you have enough trained manpower do you need to get into more training uh definitely uh, we need to train the people because these are all new technologies so these things are normally not regularly taught uh, in the universities so we need to uh run some uh, uh, orientation and training programs in our company we also appoint uh, many fresh graduates so we provide them uh, training for uh, depending on the duration like 6 months per year so that they get acquainted ac- ac- in uh, this particular technology they be aware of that and slowly we promote them into uh, more senior positions so they are more capable in uh, getting the quality work done as per the government and international standards so tell me about uh, micro tunneling uh, especially after the uttarakhand uh, uh, success um, there's a lot of public interest also so t- uh, tell me a little more for people who don't really know about it uh traceless technology like for many years uh, it was not in the limelight uh very like many times in the past also when there are such uh, nature calamities or serious issues then only such technologies come in the public light so in uttarakhand tunnel i think uh, we were uh, also one of the people who provided our inputs for rescuing the people so uh, nowadays traceless technology is considered as a, one of the next big thing in the construction industry because uh, our government also they are putting for sustainable solutions right so uh, we need to also take care of nature so we need to adopt such technologies which uh, provides us sustainable results along with the development so previously we were simply uh, digging laying the pipeline so the soil structure natural soil structure they were getting disturbed there was not uh, uh, longer life why um, you adopting such technologies with the uh, life span of the pipelines for utility pipelines it gets extended to a great degree and uh, caving all these problems uh, are disturbances in flow disturbances in uh, infrastructure all these problems are solved to a great extent using this technologies so these are traceless technology and even uh, the big uh, next big thing is the rehabilitation where we rehabilitate the older pipelines when it is not uh, economical or feasible to lay a new pipeline we also rehabilitate existing pipeline there are a lot of new technologies also we recently signed an mou with a swedish company for this technology uh, that is in pipe sweden so we can say uh, uh in construction industry it is no more about the brick mortar building the structural bridge construction it is also about trenchless technology uh, pipelines uh, new technologies rehabilitation so slowly i think people will be aware more aware about that 